I think we all have a very deep curiosity to know, to find out where we come from, what is our origin. Our ancestors have been dealing with climate change for more than four million years and they were successful because we are still here. So the Pliocene, Pleistocene sequence on this side of the lake is the Nachukui formation. Um, and it goes from about 4.2 million years up to about 700,000 years. So this is the first tuff in the sequence here. You know, as soon as we get into the coarse grain facies, the big distributary channel here, we get a tuff in the bottom of it here. We have been doing uh, the past summer two things. A very deep core has been drilled, which was quite an intense setup because with trucks you had to bring all the gear to this remote location and then uh, a more than 200 meter long core had to be drilled in ancient lake sediments. The other way is less high tech, you could say, because we just went out into the field with picks, with shovels, with our men and women power and we've been digging holes and we've been drilling samples with a battery powered um, drill to get the things that we need. Mooi compact, grijs. Ziet er goed uit. 25 cm boven, 28 cm. It's simple a matter of um, putting dirt in plastic bags. I'm going to wash them and I'm going to sift them in the lab and then I'm going to look yeah. at the the washed and sieved sample under a microscope yeah. and pick out tiny fish bones and teeth. Yeah. And those will be uh, analyzed for strontium isotope ratio. And that's going to tell us something about uh, the climate in this time period. We think that we will find in that long record cyclic climate change in the strontium isotopes. We expect, let's say it that way, that, that this will be a precession forced cycle. So a 20,000 year cycle. That's the hypothesis that we work on right now. We also know <laughs> that there are all sorts of other changes uh, that may not be cyclic uh, that we will have to find and point out in that record to be able to tell apart what is cyclic and what is not. And uh, if you don't have independent and very precise uh, age models that you can apply to a strontium isotope records like that, you can see all sorts of variation but you don't know what you're looking at. So we, we really need this independent dating based on the paleo mag, but also on the, the ash layers, the volcanic ash layers that you can find in these records. Uh, and we really need that stuff to be able to understand what the strontium isotope signal tells us. 105.1, we're over 100. 100, oh, that's good news. Yeah. <laughs> Once we know whether these samples are either directed, have a magnetization to the north or to the south, and we know the pattern, we can correlate this and then get better ages for these very important sediments where we find our early uh, ancestors.